All right, now we head over to a conversation that's been happening on the internet. Joe Budden said he believes his mis- mixtape discography is better than a lot of people's, including Lil Wayne's mixtape discography. And to be clear, only mixtapes, not albums, only mixtapes. And so they discussed this on the Math Hoffa show. I'm going to play that clip here for you lovely folks at home. My good boy, Joe Budden, said he has a better mixtape catalog than Little Wayne. People weren't doing emotional-based raps before Joe. Yeah, it just drinks whole and low. No, it says catalog better than um, Wayne's, though. Mixtapes. 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 Nah. Um, for every artist, you're always gonna, you're always gonna feel like, okay, now, look, this, this may have been overlooked. Like, it is okay. true. Right, because Joe was that first he was first drink. He was overlooked. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. He, content he, wise, content wise, I mean, the records might have might have time the same. It might not have had the same support, but he yeah, was the guy that was. He didn't, he didn't have to say this guy. His relationships were very public because he didn't have the same support. <sighs> My good buddy Joe Button. All right, that's the clip from the Math Hoffer podcast. I believe that's what it's called, but it's Math Hoffer's show. Uh, it's called My Expert Opinion. That's the name of the math office show. It's called My Expert Opinion. And so, I got to be honest, I don't know if I'm allowed to vote here. I don't think I am either, but for for two completely different reasons. And, and, and you know, I didn't think about this before when we decided to, to do this topic, but no, you don't, you shouldn't be allowed to vote here either because I don't I just, think I get a vote. Yeah. I, I know Joe Budden, Joe Budden's mixtape catalog extremely well. Most of Joe Budden's career was mixtapes and I know lots of them in and out. By heart. Matter of fact, I got a tattoo on my arm from one of Joe Budden's mixtapes. That's uh, not the reason you're not able to do this. I was getting there. <laughs> I'm I sorry. There. I just, I didn't think about but, it until this moment. I'm like, wait, but, we shouldn't really be but, judging this at all. But I have never, ever, ever listened to not one Little Wayne mixtape. From start to finish. I've heard the songs. I know the popular ones just like a lot of y'all do. Look at that. Almost broke everything. But I do not know what a single Lil Wayne mixtape sounds like from start to finish. I don't either. So I don't I don't think I'd get a vote here. I don't get a vote either because because hot take. Well, this is not a hot take, but I wouldn't know either one. I figured that. Now do, do I know what people are referring to when they talk about Joe Budden and his mixtape era? Absolutely. I have been blessed enough to have people around me who love that era of Joe Budden. So I have been exposed to it. You are one of them. Is he? Um, yes. So I... I do I have been exposed to that? In fact, I'd say I'm probably at this point more exposed to that than Little Wayne. I, I too know the Little Wayne that everyone knows. I don't know mixtape Little Wayne. I can't speak on that. So I think even bringing this topic up in hindsight is not. Well, I do think there is something to discuss here, but when you're done, I'll go. You know, but I I couldn't evaluate uh, reasonably and fairly between those two people and those two sets of their work. I just couldn't. Um, what I will say is, are peop- is the implication here, this is a question, but is the implication here that they were making the same style of music? No. Okay, because I was going to say, I think it's two different styles. Um, and, and if that is the case, then what are we? What is this comparison based off of? Quality of music, and that's where it gets challenging, and that's part of the conversation. They on the clip are having a con, and, and maybe there's more. This is a clip. I didn't watch the full episode. 
I don't know how much this was cut up and edited, but we, we are reacting strictly to the clip. Uh-huh. And so the clip that is circulating, and mm-hmm. shout out to Days, Days, the Emperor sent it to me. Um, the clip is talking about Joe having less of an impact because of his relationships in the industry and because of Wayne having better relationships in the industry. It also speaks about Joe being the first, em- the first emotional rapper mm-hmm. slash the first Drake. They say both in the clip. Yeah. It's very true. Yeah. And so if we're speaking that. about impact. Yes, you can say that without Joe, we don't get Drake. I don't think there's a lot to argue here. If you know, one, Joe Budden's catalog, mixtape catalog specifically, two, Drake's fandom of Joe Budden, three, what Drake has publicly said years and years ago about Joe Budden and his influence on Drake as a fan and an artist. I don't think there's anything to argue there. But one thing they did not say in the clip is, well, the guy who kind of brought that guy to the forefront is Lil Wayne. So they're kind of having a, without Joe, there's no Lil Wayne conversation. I'm sorry, I'm I'm saying this wrong. They're having a, without Joe, there's no Drake conversation. But also without Lil Wayne, there's probably not a Drake. There's there's no Drake either, yeah. it gets really weird and muddy for me. I do think, yes, I love that they're acknowledging that Joe has a solid body of work, Mm -hmm. that Joe was overlooked, and that Joe is a big influence on Drake. But the conversation of whose mixtape career is better, you would have to listen to both mixtape careers in their entirety and then be able to judge. And I I can't do that because I've never heard Lil Wayne mixtapes. So I can't judge, but I do think, yes, they are having an interesting conversation in this clip. Mm-hmm. I do appreciate them acknowledging that Joe has a solid body of work, that Joe was overlooked, and that Joe heavily influenced Drake, because a lot of people deny those things. Mm-hmm. All of those things are spot on. Um I almost want to go back, way back, back into time and listen to some of this music. Now, again, I'm probably more, uh, more experienced in Joe Budden today. Um, Mm -hmm. But I just, I just, it's a weird, it's a weird comparison. I understand what Joe, I, 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 I think that I think that the complicated thing and maybe the thing that's not being said is that Joe Budden, before Joe Budden was the podcaster, before Joe Budden was the reality show star, uh, Joe, Joe Budden had a lot to offer in terms of music. And yeah. I think that what maybe gets lost and why he tries to remind us, um, and I'm not saying he's wrong, but I think that one of the reasons he tries to remind us is because, you know, people look at him now and they think podcaster, they think, oh, he's been on reality television. They think the fans, of course, know where he started and where he came from. But, um, you know, sometimes you got to bring it back up. And I feel like, I feel like that's the... The thing that's not being said here is that Joe Budden was, Joe, like you said, Joe Budden made an impact, but mm-hmm. it doesn't get discussed um, very often what his impact was. Because um, people focus on commercial success. Right. So there's, there's little conversation, especially outside of certain circles about his contributions and i think he knows that and i think that's why he (laughs) he you know uses his platform to say well i was around when or i did this already so i I think i think that's the thing that um sometimes there's a disconnect there because i even saw fat joe who i thought was good friends with joe budden so i don't know if this if he was being
Because, okay. I thought they were friends. Uh, it, it seems they are not. Based on what uh, one person said directly out their own mouth. But Got continue. It. Okay. I then, then, then I feel more comfortable saying that he, the first comment I saw on this clip was Fat Joe saying, this is just, this take is delusional. But, but Fat Joe is delusional, so I don't care what Fat Joe says. I was just about to say, I don't even like that man. Fat Joe is delusional, so and I don't I, care what Fat Joe says. And because I the nigga well who is out here talking about his Ozempic journey and calling himself Jopra and saying he robbed the full auditorium of people for their clothing without a gun, <laughs> Fat Joe just makes shit up. And won't stop Fat Joe, saying nigga. And well, also wants to let us know, while constantly letting us know, I do not identify as black. Right. I'm just down right. with hip hop. I think Fat Joe is the whole podcast within itself oh, that we will, not, we will do, not do. That we will not do. But no. I really no. don't give a fuck what Fat Joe says. Basically, like, it's great that he's a legend and he's still around and he's responsible for some people who are important to hip hop. But really, I wish Fat Joe would shut the fuck up. The Agreed. only thing there's very I appreciate, few people. Sorry. The you. only thing I appreciate currently from Fat Joe is apparently his interview series is awesome. I've heard. I haven't watched it because I don't watch shit that Fat Joe does. There's very few people I come out and like completely just cuss them out and just be like, fuck them. He's one of them. Um he just says, I just, I just can't, I, like, I've seen too much at this point. I, I, I sometimes curse the internet because maybe <laughs> if we never had podcasts or social media or anything that is remotely digital that connects us way more than we need to be to certain people, then maybe I wouldn't feel like he was an asshole, but I do because I've yeah. seen too much and I've heard too much at this point and I just don't. Yeah. I only bring I only bring up his comment because it was bizarre to me because I feel like also in certain circles again in certain circles these conversations will happen and these are people who are tapped in and I thought it was odd that he said that and the reason was you could have a favorite and I don't even think that's the the thing that makes this strange. The thing that makes it strange to me is I just felt like they were apples to oranges. And that's why I brought it up. So I was like, somebody like him should be able to see the apples and see the oranges. But yeah, if you want to. Anyway, let's move on. 